This program is brought to you by the International. I could finish it. <sighs> it's fortunate I could make it. My divination results predicted you making a fool of yourself. Oh boy. Bless the show yourself. is about to start. Make sure you remember these words. You wouldn't want to tarnish the Sian Joe's reputation now, would you? <laughs> no, Master Divine. After me. Fulgrant Leap. Fulgrant Leap. Epical Spectrum. Epical Spectrum. Orem Alley's Hustle and Bustle. Orem Alley's Hustle and Bustle. The Swarm Disaster. The Swarm Disaster. Audience. Audience. Not bad. Make sure you recite them a few more times. Master Diviner? What is it now? How do we say this one? <sighs> High Cloud Quintet. Oh. Alright. Trail time. We honor oh. those who have passed on. We place items of the dead under star scans. Boy! I see why you're doing that, Hoyoverse. I see why you're doing that. Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. They better not tell me that Tiggy is died. Damn, the, the drop though. The beat drop though. of the law food with Yadara. You witnessed my secret strength, as March would call it. Damn, Dangan looking cool as, as you can hey. see, we added a oh. few things to the simulated universe. Okay. Stephen Lloyd thinks this is a big achievement. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, dice? We call it simulated universe. New enemies? Okay. Oh. Luca in the house? Oh, right. The new Hosa character as well. Music's not bad. Music's not that bad. Bella. Wow. <clears throat> That's a fine looking wallpaper, I must say. So from the look of things, it looks like we'll be getting um, the main event for version 1.3 will be related to the simulated universe and possibly more story quests on um, on the Shinjo Lofu. I hope they don't tell me that Chinyin has has died. I hope so. Anyhow, I'm kind of excited for this special program because I'll be very frank. Hong Kong Star's um, special program is way more interactive and entertaining compared to Genshin, to be very honest. Anyhow. Ooh, and whether or not your world has a day night cycle. Good morning, good, good afternoon, afternoon, and, and <laughs> you know the rest. Good evening. Welcome to the version 1.3 Celestial Eyes Above Mortal Ruins special program. As always, your good buddy Albert's here to bring you all the latest intel on the upcoming version. Albert Today, in the house. Our three special guests are... Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Wiedenheft and I voice Fu Xuan. Mm -hmm. What's up guys, I'm Anjali Kunipaneni and I voice Su Shang. Hey Trailblazers, Anjali, I'm Nicholas Liang and I voice... I've heard of that name. Welcome, she welcome, voices a character in um, <laughs> Genshin as well, right? I gotta say, that trailer was it Dory? Was with details on the new version. <laughs> I believe it was Dory, correct? I, I may be wrong. Stand out for you? Well, I'm always excited for story updates, but that last segment caught my eye too. The swarm disaster? Was that it? It looked pretty intense. I know. Did Herta upgrade the simulated universe again? You know, my trailblazer senses are tingly. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> The simulated universe <laughs> will be getting some significant updates in version 1.3, but that's for later in the program. First, let's take a look at the new characters joining the war. First on the list, and finally revealing his true power, we have Don Hung, Imbibitor Lunae. 
Yep, starting things off with um, Dan Heng in Babida Lume, <coughs> which means Dan Heng in Babida Lume will be on in the first half of version 1.3 character banner, while Fu Xuan will be in the second half of the um, character banner. Based on how the special Whoa. program flows. Okay, so March wasn't bluffing. Don Hung does have secret strength. But why would he suddenly reveal it after hiding it for so long? Uh, let's not forget he did get impaled. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think if he'd kept it under wraps any longer, he might have had Back trouble. Back in the main story quest in 1.2, for those of you guys who didn't know. <laughs> you know, desperate times, desperate measures. Okay, it makes sense, but why the secrecy up till then? Well, to answer that question, we gotta talk about Don Hung's previous incarnation. Don Fung, ah, a yes. member of the High Cloud Quintet. Oh. That's right. I'm sure Trailblazers will have noticed that certain characters in the story have been referring to Don Hung as Imbibitor Lune. Yes. But Imbibitor Lune is actually a title handed down as part of the Law Fu Vidyadara High Elder Succession. The person they're okay. referring to here isn't Dan Hung, but Dan Fang. Dan Fang was once the Lord of the High Elder. Mind you, he achieved not great -E deeds in Xianzhou in wartime, but ultimately committed an unforgivable sin. Hmm? Wait, but if Dan Hung's still alive, then Dan Fang's sin can't have been that unforgivable, right? Mm, I think someone pulled a few strings. <laughs> There's only one guy in the law of food who risked the Xianzhou's reputation like that. Jing Yuan. Is that what a little bird told you, Albert? I never knew owls were so gossipy. Oh, no, 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 no. Jing Yuan's not to blame this time. The head of the Xianzhou Vidyadara, the High Elder, possesses the power to transform into a dragon. The method of entrusting this power to the next head is a closely guarded secret and the responsibility of each High Elder. We don't know the full story, but Dan Feng misused this method and sparked a terrible calamity. As a Oof. result, the Vidyadara grew to hate Dan Feng, but executing him would have brought an end to the High Elder succession. They decided to use an exuviation charm, forcing him to reincarnate. Oh. Which is why Dan Hung is alive and well today. Oh, the world of the Vidyadara is complicated. But why would Don Fong cause so much trouble? I suspect there are a few more secrets waiting for us down the line. Uh, Has to be. Lore of the unknown. <laughs> but fear not, Trailblazers. <laughs> a banquet of delicious secrets awaits you. Now, let's take a look at how secret strength Don Hung handles himself on the battlefield. <laughs> As an imaginary type character following the path of destruction, Dan Hung and Bibiter Lune's specialty is consuming multiple skill points to trigger an array of powerful abilities. Tapping the skill button enhances the effects of Bibiter Lune's basic attack, Beneficent Lotus, up to three times in succession. Depending on the number of enhancements, mm -hmm. Beneficent Lotus becomes Transcendence, Divine Spear, and Fulgurant Leap, respectively. Hits per action and damage dealt. This is where skill point management becomes useful. Single mm -hmm. target damage is replaced with multiple target damage in both Divine Spear and Fulgurant Leap. In Imbiber Lune's talent, Righteous Heart amplifies the damage he deals as the number of hits per action in the current turn increases. Sounds like skill point management is going to be pretty important for Imbiber Lune's allies. As I was saying. When using his ultimate, Imbibitor Lune deals imaginary damage to a single target and adjacent enemies, while okay. also receiving a set amount of Squama Sacrosancta. Squama Sacrosancta can be used to offset Imbibitor Lune's skill point consumption. Man, secret strength Don Hung is okay. kind of a one-man band. Oh, that's not all. <laughs> Imbibitor Lune's technique, Heaven Quelling Prisma Dragon, allows him to enter a leaping dragon state for a set time. This state, using an attack, causes Imbibitor Lune to lunge forwards a set distance and strike all enemies he comes into contact with. Okay. Entering battle in this way allows Imbibitor Lune to acquire a set amount of Squama Sacrosancta. And lo, okay. such is the frightful power of the High Elder. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. Now that we've introduced secret strength, mm -hmm. Don Hung, let's move on to an old friend of ours. Master Diviner, Lady Fushuan. 
right onto Fushuan. Unfortunately, I won't be pulling for either Dang Heng in Barbital Lume or Fushuan though, because I'm saving up for Jin Yuan. Sorry, guys. But I will say, <laughs> her first encounter with the Trailblazers was pretty impressive. From high above, amid a hail of bullets, came the ah, she's quantum. Your every move has been forced. Preservation. She's quantum and she's preservation. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, you but that's a first. Her bullet deflection game she is, is on point. Which means that makes her the very first um quantum you, element uh, um Ooh, character that them. follows the path of oh, the preservation. Yeah, I can't see her one of those out of the sky. <laughs> the very first. Fushuin might have something to say about that. Oh, okay. mm. Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating because between the earth and from what I remember, right? What do we have the to characters fear? that follow the path of preservation are uh, the the March Soen uh -huh. oh, and translation. Hexagram says let's do this. Uh, as far as I remember. Uh, you know, I think the divination oh, and um, from having if, as a if we count um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trailblazer, the fire trailblazer as well. The only forehead is a mysterious instrument that allows her to calculate her every move in advance. However, the immortal bodies of the Sienjo natives exhibit adverse reactions to external augmentation. While the Omnisia may grant her incredible computational abilities, it also causes her pain and exhaustion. Uh, well, with great power... Uh... You know the rest. <laughs> Comes great responsibility. Fushuan's reliance on bubble tea, then, huh? From the Spider-Man crew. <laughs> from the very first Spider-Man movie. Of the day. Uh, <laughs> no. Hey, that sounds like gossip to me. What if Immortal's Delight is just heckin' delicious? <laughs> <laughs> I suspect it is. Though I'm sure the sugar helps. Running the Divination Commission and divining the fortunes of the Sien Joe, it's an exhausting gig. All right, Anjali's right. No more bubble tea gossip. By way of apology, how about I treat everyone to ten cups of Omoto's Delight after the show? <gasps> yes! <laughs> now <Okay>. we're talking. <laughs> Let's talk about bubble tea later. It's time to take a look at how the Master Diviner showcases her abilities on the battlefield. Fushuen is a quantum-type character, following the path of preservation. But... Where other Path of Preservation characters mainly use shields for defense, Fu Xuan takes a different road. Mm -hmm. Precisely. After using her skill, Fu Xuan activates the Matrix of Prescience, which lasts for a set number of turns. Mm -hmm. This allows Fu Xuan to absorb some of that damage for her allies. Oh. Oh. When the Matrix of Prescience is active, she it absorbs damage from allies. Okay. Team, increasing characters' max HP and crit rate. Fu Xuan's talent offers a variety of effects. Firstly, Fu Xuan can provide a permanent misfortune avoidance state, reducing the damage taken by the entire team. Secondly, okay. when Fu Xuan's HP drops below a set percentage, she recovers a set percentage of HP. Ah, okay. Why are my attacks healing her? <laughs> <laughs> That's not all. Fu Xuan's ultimate deals quantum damage to all enemies, but it also increases the frequency of her talent's HP restoration effect. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, Fu Xuan's technique can grant a barrier for the whole team that lasts for a set duration. Ah. During exploration, the barrier blocks all enemy attacks, thereby preventing but battles this that is would otherwise cool. have triggered in this way. Her technique this is a cool also feature. The matrix of prescience it prevents you from being ambushed. That's, a massive well, that's, a, that's also a first as and well. <laughs> Holy crap. I wonder she's got her sights set on the general's ship. Her style is very different to Jing Yuan's. Well, it, if that doesn't convince you to put for Fu Shan, I do not know what will. <coughs> and you won't but then again, there's Jing Yu and one, one mm. other new character. I, I, I forgot what's the uh, name though. I'm so sorry. Moving <laughs> swiftly on to our final character. It's time we introduced a young girl from Belaba, Lynx Landau. <gasps> Let's go! Alright, the new Forza character. Just one question. Will she be obtainable in version for free in version 1.0? Just like how um 
you Kong will be free to obtain in version 1.2. Her name ring a bell. <laughs> I'm Jen. I'm just you here. got it. She's the younger sister of Serval and Japard Landa. You know, is it just me, or should everyone oh, be overwhelmed? Oh, she's be she's the Landa as she's well. The only person okay. I've seen who's dressed for the Eternal <laughs> Freeze. Like, are the majority of Balabagians frost resistant or something? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know that. <laughs> Geomarrow heaters keep the temperature relatively comfortable within the confines of the city. Oh, so Lynx's winter gear is for venturing outside the city, right? Mm -hmm. You got it. Mm. Lynx has always been drawn to the horizon. The centuries old records of Yorilo Six's vibrant past, the beautiful auroras described by her teachers, the heroic tales of the Landau family. All of it pertains to the world beyond the city walls, where the Bellabogians call the Snow Plains. Compared with her sister's enthusiasm and her brother's seriousness, Lynx is somewhat introverted and comfortable with solitude. She oh, often ventures okay. out alone into the perilous Snow Plains, which has allowed her to hone her wilderness survival skills. <laughs> She's going to be the world's smallest survival expert. I know. What you talking about? Now, she may be small, but she packs a punch. Let's dive <laughs> okay. right in and see just how powerful this Snow Plains Explorer really is. Okay. Yeah, Lynx is a quantum type character following the path of Abundance, who provides a variety of healing for her team. Her skill yeah, can restore abundance are practically healers. And grant them survival response for a set number of turns, okay. boosting their max HP. If an okay. ally with survival response follows the paths of destruction or preservation, the likelihood of them being targeted by enemy attacks increases. Okay. Uh, increased enemy aggression? Guess they're not fans of whatever's in that tin. <laughs> uh, uh, can't say that I blame them. <laughs> my, 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 that looks like Bro. a minute. Aaron? Oh, it's my favorite. You guys want to try some? Uh, no, no, no. no. no Everyone no. be like, nope, nope, uh, nope, nope, nope. About the contents of the tin, this is a useful ability. I'll say this. <laughs> Directing enemy aggression towards characters who can take a hit is kind of genius. <laughs> yeah. Does she have any edible especially, tricks up especially, her sleeve? Especially, uh, you can redirect, uh, um... Safe for consumption. Uh, Lynx's um, ultimate restores health to opponent health attacks onto a tanker like the likes of um <laughs> Clara and Japan. I know yo, yo, talk about a hard pill to swallow, huh? Eh? Yeah. Anyone? Anyone? Uh -huh. Sarah? Sarah? No? Anjali? Yeah, See, okay. I'm just wondering how she even fits it in her backpack. <sighs> Sometimes big things come in small packages. Okay. You know, I forgot to mention Lynx's talent. It can grant a continuous healing effect to targets of her skill and ultimate for a set number of turns. This effect will further restore a set amount of HP to characters with survival response. Okay. Similarly, her technique can also grant a continuous healing effect for a set number of turns, but to the entire team. Okay. Talk about being a reliable healer. <laughs> That's our little <laughs> snow plains explorer. We can all breathe a little easier with her on the team. Okay. Well, that concludes our new character introductions. Next up, let's take a look at the brand new five star light cones coming to the warp in version 1.3. To get us started, <laughs> how about a path of destruction? Ooh. Brighter than the sun. Ladies are gonna love this. Is there anything brighter than the sun? Yeah, if there is, we should tell Imbibiter Lune about it. Someone needs some vitamin D. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> come on. He's looking pretty good for a man suspended in chains. Bro. Bro. Fair point. Now, on to a path of preservation like. Oh. <sighs> Brilliant fixation. Everything changed in an instant. Thrown suddenly into an endless reliance on bubble tea. Oh, uh, speaking of bubble tea, <laughs> Albert. Uh, any chance we can uh, fast track that offer? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah. No. Aww. Now, during the first phase of version 1.3, the character as, war, as I was saying, for Spectrum, Trailblazers <laughs> can obtain the limited five star character Don Hung and Bibiter Lune. And in the corresponding light cone event warp, the drop rate of the five star light cone, brighter than the sun, will be boosted. During the second phase of version 1.3 in the character warp, yep. foreseen, foreknown, foretold, 
patrol bases can obtain the limited five-star character. Yeah, as I mentioned, that Fushani some the four-star character Lynx, who will also be joining the war. Yes. During the corresponding the first half will be Dan Hong in Bible de Lumi, while the second half will be Fushuen. <laughs> and that's all she wrote on light cones and warps. We mm. don't leave just that now. More exciting updates are right around the corner. I believe the next um, part of the um, special program will be about the 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 events and possibly um, main story quest update. Okay, I will admit that Dang Heng in Bible Lu Mei looks cool, and Fushun has some very interesting kid as. Um, She's um, the very first um, uh, character that follows the path of um, preservation that is um, quantum element and she's the only character at this moment that has a shield where it prevents Welcome back dear viewers! Let's pick up where we left off in the preceding story and thanks to yep. the collaborative um, of Jin Yuan and Neo Dao Pao Neo Vision was banished and the Ambrosial Arbor crisis was resolved and yet as the dust settles, easing the fears of the citizenry becomes a new priority. Rightly so. This is more like an epilogue from the way I see it. It's a big part of rebuilding. And more often than not, responding to a disaster is trickier than preventing one. Mm-hmm. In version 1.3, the Trailblaze mission obsequies performed a long road ahead will reveal a glimpse of the Xianzhou's recovery efforts. We'll also be seeing the Whoa. likes of four, four new com companion missions. Four companion the missions? Dragon returns home. One is Dang Heng. Farther than the snow and we have a, and there's the March, Pots Luca, and Dragon returns as well. Home, we find Dan Hung in the turbulent wake of the Ambrosial Arbor crisis. He must face up to his past life and meet with the current Vidyadara High Elder, Lady Bai Lu. Meanwhile, in Total Recall, March 7th makes a big decision. Having witnessed the wonders of the Matrix of Prescience Ultima, she decides to ask Fu Xuan for the Matrix's help in rediscovering her past. Farther oh. than the Snow Plains focuses on the youngest member of the Landau family. Lynx returns from an expedition with something troubling her, and her siblings, Serval and Japard, are at a loss to help. They decide to seek the assistance of none other than the Trailblazer. Okay. And last but not least, Mohashle. Wildfire member and Fight Club reigning champion Luca has returned to Boulder Town. He wastes no time in inviting the Trailblazer and Zila to help him in completing a special bout of training. Ooh, well, this is cool. Nice cinematic read there, Albert. I'm getting goosebumps. This is cool. This is a good way <laughs> to, in, to so get to know better of the, like the char of the characters, oh, even though you don't the own them yet. But like, why is Bailu the current Vidyadra High Elder? And is March 7th truly as many people suspect? <laughs> this is hardly the domain of unverified rumors. Oz is a serious program. Serious? <laughs> More like Bubble Tea Gossip Central. Uh, oh, speaking no. of Bubble Tea, yeah. Uh, <sighs> fine, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> no. People are still talking about what? We'll be talking version one ah! and three events. Holy crap, we'll be the getting um, a free Sushang. Was once a hub of commerce and crowd. Damn! But has gradually fallen into obscurity over the last month. And a new area as well. Eye for a long life species. <laughs> and now, as the IPC's corporate interference encroaches upon the law Fu, the people And just so you know, to this day I do not new have um, Shu Xiang on in, the uh, in my account yet. Event, I kid you not. Are thrown right into the action with an opportunity to influence the Ali's ultimate fate. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what do we need to do exactly? What well, shops of numerous sizes can be found in the newly reopened Aram Alley district. By arranging cargo shipments and planning logistics routes, trailblazers can accumulate funds. These funds can be used to progressively revamp the urban landscape of Aram Alley, helping it return to its former glory. Hmm. By achieving goals in this limited time event, okay. players can earn self-modeling resin, tracks of destiny, stellar jade, and four-star character Sushan. Nice. Following this limited time event, Oramali will remain in the game as a permanent mode. This mode includes rewards such as the Oramali-themed phone wallpaper, Ingenium Dream, 
things. Oh, ah. that's something we haven't seen before. <laughs> new right. phone wallpaper. Phone wallpapers are a new feature being added to version ah. 1.3. Okay. Trailblazers can browse and replace their wallpapers using the in-game mobile menu. Interesting. Ooh, so pretty. <laughs> Isn't it? All right, folks. It's time to talk about a big update to the simulated universe. Ah, uh, finally. This... I thought for a moment you might have accidentally left it out. <laughs> the cheek. How Bro. could I, your humble living servant, make you wait? <laughs> I mean, we're Bro. still on those bubble teas, so... <laughs> no, I'm just saying! <laughs> in any case, the update still is us, the Still talking about the bubble tea thing. Bro. They call it Simulated Universe, the Swarm Disaster. Okay. They completed a broad spectrum of structural renovations purely to investigate the fall of an eon. The Swarm Disaster. The fall of an eon? It sounds like it might have something to do with the... Uh, Mm, what is that eon's name again? Tazy something? Tazerov. The eon Tazerov. of propagation. Ah, that's the one. Okay. Interesting. Um, what motivated Herta and her team to research the Imperator Insectorum? Ooh, I'll tell you. <laughs> From the story so far, we've heard that the propagation once caused a major swarm which spread throughout the universe. This eventually caught the attention of multiple eons who united to eradicate it. This event involved more eons than any other recorded event in history, which of course makes it an excellent research subject. Hmm, so that's how it is. Mm-hmm. In order to delve into this complicated history, Herda and her team have developed various new methods of exploration. In simulated universe, the swarm disaster, the stage maps will appear in a format similar to a chessboard. Okay. Trailblazers will need to navigate through randomly generated domains and tackle a variety of challenges before making it to the deepest parts of the simulation. I'm assuming these geniuses had Whoa, more in mind that's... than simply maneuvering around a grid. Right you are. In order to simulate the experiences of different path striders and resonate with the eons, a brilliant mind named Steven developed the audience die and communing device. Okay. Oh, audience die? Oh, come on, Albert. That's not a nice thing to say to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> die as in singular. But for that's die. a bad pun yeah. right there, Dan to do with the eons bestowing random gifts upon But that's a bad pun right there, Dan Hung. turn, use the commuting device to roll the audience die. This will generate special effects for the current turn. These special effects might provide our team with powerful buffs or alter the chessboard in some way or even create further variables for subsequent actions okay the chessboard and grids are superficial the true intent of the geniuses is to delve into the mysteries of the eons each exploration will encompass three planes corresponding to imperator and sectorum's emergence expansion and demise trailblazers okay. will encounter simulated historical events during these phases and Different responses will lead to different outcomes. But okay. do these simulations well, really recreate the truth? The official response is that due to the many historical unknowns, all potential outcomes are valuable. The data helps us infer the most probable truth. And the unofficial response? Hmm, Madam Herta said, and I quote, You can't prove that the past wasn't like this, can you? <laughs> How exceptional! <laughs> Undeniably I'm just a genius. Curious, that? <laughs> Madam Herta will this um, swarm disaster will be timeless or will be permanent? That's what I want to know. As a trailblazer, every action you take that aligns with your path during exploration can help you to obtain path energy, leading you closer to the eons. Hmm. And what can we expect when we get closer to the eons? Ah, once you have sufficient path energy, you'll be able to unlock specific buffs and the chance to interact directly with the corresponding Eon. Okay. <laughs> Thereby uncovering their part in the Swarm Disaster. Hmm. Okay, so we've been hearing those words a lot, but none of this feels swarmish or disastery enough to me. Mmm, say no more. <laughs> In the final domain of the third plane of each exploration, trailblazers will encounter a brand new enemy. 
the swarm true sting. <laughs> yeah, this true is definitely a brand new. have the ability to divide and create more swarms. Oh, not that we're promptly, mm -hmm. the entire battlefield will eventually be overrun by the swarm. Oh dear. Sufficiently swarming. Oh. Yeah. So keep an eye. Yeah, so yeah, the swarm okay, is okay, weak that's to me the creeps just pyro <laughs> fire quantum <laughs> and imaginary upon clearing simulated universe the swarm disaster the brand new path of propagation will be unlocked within the simulated universe okay. Okay. what a roller coaster that's a big update all right and big updates need big rewards take mm -hmm. note Aside from Stella Jade and numerous other materials, okay. the Swarm Disaster rewards include two self-modeling resins. Two? Ooh, those things are rarer than rare. Are they really two? two up for grabs? You better believe it. Bro. I highly encourage Trailblazers to give it a go. Next up is the Bro, Space Station that's... Task Force <laughs> event. Revitalizing the Space Station is no small undertaking. I have a feeling that simulated images is going to be challenging as hell. Task force with special permissions. Watson has lined up all the assignments for a, for a simulated to have two self modeling um, <laughs> items event, as a reward. The requirements of specific assignments. Damn, boy. you'll be able to earn rewards such as stellar jade and character experience materials. <laughs> And as the message makes clear, there will be requests and assignments every day. It's almost impossible to finish them all. Version 1.3 will also see the return of the planar of course. and garden of plenty of events. Of course. During the respective events, successfully challenging the of simulated course. universe and calyxes can earn you a set amount of double rewards. Of course. <laughs> At the same time, Version 1.3 will unlock two new stagnant shadow stages. Shape okay. of Puppetry and Shade of Shape Puppetry? of Abomination. The former will drop Suppressing Edict. Ascension Wait. material required for Don Hong and Vibrata Lune. The latter will drop Nail of the Ape. Ascension material required for Fu Shui. Whoa, all that too? <laughs> Wait, that actually oh, I'm not done with you yet. Version 1.3 system updates are just as momentous. First off, after the version 1.3 update, the Trailblaze power Wait, cap what? will be raised from 180 to 240. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly the amount that regenerates in a day. Once trail Why did Genshin have this? The percentage of the surplus is converted into reserved Trailblaze power. Oh, Reserve so trailblaze way, power. If you forget to log on, you won't have wasted much trailblaze power. Mm, Why didn't yeah, Genshin have this? Hoyover, explain this. To the friends and chat systems, which include being able to sort your friends and trailblazers not currently accepting new friend requests can choose to disable them in settings. Okay, this is As not really important. Case, you can now send emojis in chats. Oh, at last, bring on the pom pom and March seventh emojis. <laughs> yeah. I want nice. I want to use them Kafka emojis. <laughs> <laughs> I want to use them Kafka emojis. I don't give them. The crowd favorite, gift of Odyssey chicken. Roll. Oh my god! Seven days gets you ten what more. What the? That might just be your lucky break. Nuclear side, my your confidence. Please do not tell me they're gonna do this every single version. Last but not least. Honkai Star Rail will also be oh, a right. part Game of this year's is, um, Gamescom. <laughs> um, will be next week. Surprising updates await us. Watch this space trail basis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. Nice. And then uh, the female trail is looking fine, though. I, I must say. Oh my gosh! The up uh, Honkai Star Rail, you, you, you never s cease to amaze me, man. I mean, I'm keeping the um, the trail the, the 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 resin from 180 to 240, and then there's a reserve power that where in the case where if you forgot to log in, you don't waste any of your of your resin. That is huge. I'm just. I am shocked and disappointed at the same time. Shocked as in that we're getting 
this is such a big deal for Honkai Sabre players at the same time that I'm disappointed that till this day Genshin doesn't get this oh, such treatment good like what the Most hell come to an end. it's almost today's special program <laughs> we've covered quite a bit about the 1.3 update any thoughts or feelings from our guests what are you most looking forward to man so much to choose from but for me it's got to be the characters <laughs> don hung and by bitter lune fu shuen and Lynx are all special in their own way i just hope i get lucky with the warps <laughs> <laughs> and as for me i'm super excited about the simulated universe update the new gameplay and story aspects sound brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, since you guys covered the obvious, I'll go for something a little different. Mm -hmm. I feel like this version's quality of life enhancements are really good. I exactly. love the Trailblaze power cap increase and the new reserve Trailblaze power feature. Uh, they may sound minor, but I think they'll make a big difference to the experience. <laughs> dude, <laughs> totally. dude, at this and point, I'm right, sure Honka Star Rail is going to be a way better game than Genshin. Like, what the hell? <laughs> well, that's it for the Honkai Star Rail version 1. Even though Honkai has been released for like what? As always, four months. Thanks again to all the updates that we've been getting are way better than Genshin. Like what the hell? Bye guys. Catch you later. See you next time. Bubble tea, bubble tea, bubble tea. Fine. Enough with the bubble tea already. <laughs> oh, that was that was a good that was a good special program. I will say this. There was a really darn good special program. Oh my gosh. Hong uh, no, Hong Kong Star Rail you can you to this day you never cease to amaze me man, holy crap. And I'm at the same time right I'm just disappointed that Genshin doesn't get this kind of a treatment. I'm just disappointed. Where it's it's been four months there and yet we are already get getting um updates where the resin will be the the cap of the resin will be increased and then not only that right in the case where you f forget one forgets to log in into the game and your cap has already reached maximum capacity there's a special reserve um resin in the case but how many but i'm but i hope i hope it's uh but i'm feeling that the, the reserve power is um it might whether it'll be unlimited or not I will not know but still this that system that system update is way way better than what I'm um, guessing is having I will see this like holy crap okay uh okay let's go with the um the characters hold on just a second let me let me switch this um switch the screen just so keep my they're starting things off by introducing um Dan Heng in Barbara Lune um, and then we have um, Fu Xuan <coughs> where Fu Xuan right she's practically the very first um, quantum element uh, character that follows the path of preservation and one of her unique um, talent right hold on let me just um, scroll down to the, that one part this is her, her ultimate then let me yeah this this part right over here as while you're exploring right she casts a, a technique where you you will not be ambushed when you're attacked that, that, that's a first she is the very first character that has this his this um uh skill i just hope that right sometime later in the future right um, other character, other uh, there will be like a four-star character that has this same um, feature as well, but a kind, of, but uh, a toned-down version of it. I really hope um, that's the case because it's very high likely that Fusion will be um, a limited character from where I see it, along with Dang 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 Hung in Barbita Lume, and of course um, we'll be getting a. Uh, the new four star character as well which is links who happens to be um the younger the younger sister of um Serval and japart and not only that she is the very first um 
quantum element character that follows the the path of abundance. But I can't really comment on her on a kid though because from the way from the way I see it right based on the footages that shown over here basically you activate her, her, her talent the does is does it heal over time or I I believe it the uh, it's probably healing over time and then enemies um <clears throat> Enemies attacks redirected to that particular um, character. Just like how much um, activated activates her, her 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 shield, and then all the all the attacks redirected to that target. Similar concept, but unfortunately, right as I mentioned earlier, I will I won't be pulling for Dunham in Babita Lume and Fushan because. Um, number one, I'm playing Honkai Star Rail 100% free to play. Number two, I'm saving up for Jin Liu, which will be available in version 1.0 as announced on their on Honkai Star Rail's um, social media page, like the likes of um, Twitter and Facebook. And there's another character that um, that Honkai Sarayu has announced as well, but I forgot her, her name though. I but I really I remember that she follows the she's a fire element character, but I forgot what's her she follows which path. So yeah, still regardless, right? I will be getting my hands on. Uh, I will I will be saving up for Jin Liu regardless, as um, I before mentioned earlier, um, will be. Getting new Trailblaze missions. I just hope that, right? I just hope that um, every single version of um, Honkai Star Rail has a, a Trailblaze mission in the long run. I really hope because Genshin, Genshin, right? As time goes, go on, right? They just um, they release a new version, but there's no new Archon quest. But at the very least, right, there's a, there's an event of some sort. But f to me, I really hope that every single version, I would prefer to have a new Trailblaze mission, so that I have something to look to look forward to in the in the story quest. And not only that, I complete missions optional, but Trailblaze mission is. I really hope that it releases on on every version basis. And companion mission is a good thing that they adding try to add in new companion missions as well because it is a good way to get to know these characters even though you do not have them. For example, like oh crap, I don't have um the Imbibator Lemi, but do is it possible for me to get to know him to get to know more about his um his backstory or some sort even though I do not know him? Yeah, and the answer is very late, most likely yes. So, I'm glad that Honkai Star Rail is doing this kind of stuff, and I'm just glad that Honkai Star Rail will be will be providing free four star characters. And it, it, I was kind of hoping it would be Luca, but I didn't expect will to be Su Shang instead, which to me is completely fine because I will say this, as I mentioned earlier, I do not have Su Shang. At all, I do not. So I'm kind of glad that Honkai Star Rail gives the opportunity to the people who does not have Sushan players. Long, so long story short, you play the event. What you clear um the 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 the, the quite the the requirements needed to obtain Sushan, and you're good to go. Just, and I'm glad they do that. And I hope in the long run, in every version of uh, Monga Star Rail, they give us new um, four, four, uh, free four star character in some way. And I really hope they do that consistently. And one one thing I'm curious is that this simulated universe, the Swarm Disaster, right? It's, bas it's basically a more challenging simulated universe, but my question is that, will it be a permanent event 
or will be a time limited event. I guess the only way to find out is um is what once version 1.3 drops, that's the only way to find out because there is absolutely no way in the hell right that I'm gonna miss um the rewards where there's no absolutely no way that I'm gonna miss getting my hands on two self modeling resin which are very difficult to obtain they're like the rarest of the rare item that you can get in Honkai Star well so it is safe to assume that this simulated universe will be way more challenging I just hope that this swarm disaster is a permanent feature in the game I hope I, I and I hope that's the case and lastly to wrap up this um, this conversation this is my this this mind-blowing moment where the Honkai server will be increasing the trailblaze power or or should I say the resins of the game from 180 to 240 and not only that um, they added a feature where in the case where you forgot to, you forget to log in into the game they will have a reserve trail based power system but whether the trail based power system will be limited or not the only way to find out only is to um, version 1 for 3 drops then only we find out but I really hope it's unlimited I really hope because no no player wants their Jubilee's power wasted, right? But I have a feeling that it might be limited to a certain, uh, a certain degree. I'm just disappointed that, okay, last time, um, Genshin used to increase the the cap of the the resin, but still, but I feel like the cap of the the resin is not, um, maximized enough. And the worst part is right. They do have a um, a reserve power uh, po resin or some sort, which is the condensed resin. However, the condensed resin, yet you can only save up to five condensed resin. I just hope that the the maximum amount of capacity that you allow to have um, the condensed resin that you have can at the very least increase up to maybe a 10 or 20 or some sort but unfortunately to this day um, right now uh, as of this uh, right now Genshin Impact is uh, at version 4.0 but the only update that this the only system update that Genshin gets is basically a better visual of the um, of the party of the party setup and then the the map layout which is a cool thing where where you can in the map we can see multiple layers which Honkai Star Rail had but Genshin didn't and now Genshin has it and lastly is a feature regarding the Genji's invocation TGG which where you can um, spectate um, other places um, game and that's pretty much it which I find it disappointing because I really hope that 4.0 is I will be setting big updates from 4.0 but I was disappointed that the only system update that they provided us was this tree and that's pretty much it so I'm kinda glad that um, Honkai Starway is doing something for that is more user friendly to the players and I hope they consistently do so in the long run Honkai Starway will be making an appearance at GamesCon, which will be on uh, which will be, which will be next week, on the twenty third till the twenty seventh. But what are the new announcements that will be announced? It is possibly very high likely a um, a character trailer for Dang Heng e Bible Little Lume. I'm not so sure. I guess the only way to find out is uh, when Gamescom is is live, we'll, we'll find out. And I think that's pretty much why I can comment on um, Honkai Star Rail version 1.3. Props to um, the, the Honkai Star Rail team for, for their hard work and effort. 
and I hope they maintain it that way in the long run. I I really do.